about a month, a controversial coffee shop will be opening its doors in Cape Coral. The Seattle-based Barista's Coffee Company is known for more than just its cup of joe. It's also known for showing skin. Four in your corners, Julian Glover has the details and reaction from Cape Coral residents. In just a little over a month, all of this... Your coffee's going to be served up in a sexy manner, so to speak. ...will be coming here. The controversial coffee shop, nicknamed the Hooters of Coffee, will be opening its doors at the corner of Cape Coral Parkway and Palm Tree Boulevard in downtown Cape Coral. The Farm Store Express, once selling cheap booze and quick bites, will be replaced with sexy baristas and fancy drinks. Locals are excited about the idea. I think it's great because it'll bring people... Uh, I don't know that they have it in Fort Myers, so it'll bring people over the bridge, and I don't see a problem with it. While Barista's Coffee is gaining a reputation of focusing more on who is making the coffee than what's in the cup, the company's CEO says Barista's is the real deal, and it's looking to compete with staples in the coffee industry. Building an international brand that's recognizable, that makes you think red, black, and white when you think of coffee instead of that other color. Of course, coffee is big business. In 2012, a leading consumer index survey reported the average American spent more than $1,000 a year on their Joe. To make the battle over your mug more interesting, the new baristas in the Cape is located right next to 7-Eleven. I showed one regular the baristas advertisement online. So what do you think about all that? It doesn't impress me at all. He said the prices are too high for him and the dress, or lack thereof, isn't enough to beat the deals at 7-Eleven. I don't think it's too sexy, but I, I wouldn't have you buy coffee, though, it's just because the girls are dressed like it. I showed another woman the video, and she raised some other concerns. That would make me worry about the sanitation level of the coffee. <laughs> Julian Glover, Fox 4, in your corner. Good point. As crazy as some of those outfits may seem, the owner says the main focus at Barista's is the coffee. The company launched three years ago in Seattle and now has 14 locations across the country. Last year, a branch opened in Tampa. The owner says he has plans to continue expanding after Cape Coral. Next stop, Naples.